Welcome to the Daily Minute. It can be so easy for us to get a bad attitude toward those who cause us difficulties. And for many of us, it doesn't have to be a big deal. Just let someone cut us off in traffic, and you'll see the junk that's inside of us. Let's look at what God desires from us in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 5. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Gentleness is the natural product of having the Holy Spirit living within us as believers. It isn't an option. If it isn't a regular practice in our lives, then we aren't living according to the Spirit of God. Those around us now aren't supposed to have just a head knowledge of our gentleness. They need to experience our gentle spirit toward them. We ought to be gentle. That doesn't mean we hide truth that others disagree with. When we have inconvenient truths to tell, that is when we most need the character trait of gentleness. Let's pray. Father, well, thanks for this great day that you've given to us. And Father, we do ask that you would make the spirit of gentleness powerful in our lives. That, Father, we would be able to be gentle with others when they need to hear truths that they don't really want to hear. We thank you and praise you for what you do with us in the area of gentleness. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you for spending time with me in God's Word today. If you have a question, a prayer request, or let like to receive these devotions and readings directly, send your request to shine the light for him at mail.com. Now, tomorrow in the Daily Minute, we're going to look at one of the reasons why we should always attempt to be gentle with those around us. Thank you, and may God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.